dirty stainless <coughs> copper baron motor I gotta clean that copper up oh more copper I cut them off I think Scrap It All has a video on that. I'll have to go back and check it out. Brad pins. Whether it's a plug-in or a plug-e, either way, they still have brass in them and you still sell them as uh, dirty brass. Still got to do something for that bucket. That's I got a plan for that bucket right there. I'll throw some more stuff in it. Matter of fact, ugh. today it's just kind of organizing. You know, I've done a bunch of these already. Aluminum table. What's that aluminum? That's got to be processed. So I'll process that today. Anybody that's messed with any of these type of motors probably know where that one came from I will be recovering the copper and as a matter of fact that was thrown into the wrong barrel the ones that I'm taking the copper recovery if there's copper I don't belong over there them ones are all aluminum so they're selling as motors that's why they're there good thing about summertime now for me is it right around the corner or straight ahead right there it's an amazing amazing 13 by 35 swimming pool <coughs> I love it I believe I believe I believe I'm going on to that second this is some of that light duty wire Throw that there. Uh, pull my sawzall out real quick. All right, let's go get some tools. That, y'all, is a piece of number two. Number two copper. Why is it number two? Number one, it's not bare bright. It's not bright. And number two, look at all that crappy solder that's on that. And they don't want to buy that um, for number one with solder on it. So if it was all small pieces with no solder, you'd have some number one pieces. But since you don't, you got some number two. And I have a number one barrel there that actually has copper in there. It needs to be processed. I am literally filling these barrels with copper. One, two, three. Um, whatever I'm just filling them with whatever they have th that belongs in them basically um, and I say that because I don't have quite enough barrels to put every kind of copper in there it's like copper number one copper number two copper number three copper motors clean motors dirty motors aluminum extrusion bare bright I mean it just goes on and on so you can only do so much Sometimes a sawzall instead of a set of wrenches will be your best ah, friend. A little bit of muscle will be even better. Use some muscle, Grandpa. Almost. Now this, 
I I won't take apart um, any more than that. I believe possibly copper in there, but I don't know. I don't know. They might buy it as a uh, just as a motor, dirty, dirty because of the fact that we don't know. So unless we can get in there and grind it, I might just be getting uh, the cheaper of the the metal prices. That's right. This is here. I just want to get what's around me, get it done, processed. That's what my plan is today. So basically, I'm processing scrap metal in my scrapyard, and that's basically what I'm going to name the video. This is all part of processing and scrapping, guys. If, you, if you're really doing scrapping the right way, this is a piece of extrusion, but it has paint on it. It has paint on it, so you're probably going to get regular metal for it. Um, they don't like paint on their metal. If it has paint, that's... Uh, um, that's the um, same thing as having solder. Just a few cuts though, and I can go ahead and turn this into a little bit better money. This is gonna be dirty basically because it's got paint on it it's going to be a dirty um, aluminum it's going to be dirty not going to get anything better than that this is going to be clean excru uh, excuse me uh, probably get excursion but you're going to end up getting paid old cheat um, because of the uh, crap that's on it There's a channel out there that is a hard working guy. His channel name is Junk and Grind. Junk, the letter N, Grind. He's a really cool guy, works hard telling. I I mean I I, I want to say that he's one of the hardest working scrappers that I know, besides maybe big country. If you like videos on how to tear apart air conditioners or copper recovery, brass recovery, You're gonna wanna head over there to Big Country, check them out. The more of this stuff I get cut up and straightened up, cleaning my yard will get, look how much better it is already. Already better. also want to save these because um, that's a good little piece of aluminum you'll be surprised what you get out of that for weight
just make sure you clean off any garbage. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, let's throw that right into the truck. Processed. Boom. I almost hate throwing away these pots and pans, but don't really know where they've been. Hmm. I just grabbed a magnet for my bench. Guess I misplaced it already. There it is. What I wanted to make sure was. This is stainless. I wanted to make sure that that was also stainless. So this is clean, clean stainless. I have a bin right there of dirty um, stainless somewhere right there and clean actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and load that bin. When that bin is loaded, I'll separate it and actually probably just bring it in. Um, yeah, bring it in. I mean, maybe I could get a few bucks for these pots and pans if I sold them to the thrift store or if I sold them online. But then, is it worth, is it worth my time that it's going to take me to do all that? See, now I'm having to sell it, list, list it, sell it, talk to potential buyers. Um, maybe somebody uh, decide they want it or they... They say they want it and they don't come over they just don't show up like happens all the time and i wasted a whole bunch of time so i'm a scrapper and i do scrapping best so when something like that is given to me i don't have a problem these i'm saving for my sister she resells them if it's worth if it's worth it I absolutely grab it um, but it's got to be worth it. What do I got here that I need processed? Air conditioners. That needs to be moved over to this pile. I got some more trash. Trash. More trash. That needs to be dealt with. Garbage. The more trash I get picked up and out of my out of my yard, um, the better it's actually looking. It's like, wow, I had more trash than I thought. Scrap my grandpa. What's next? What's next? I uh, did some cleaning with this stuff that's part of my roof cleaning stuff and I actually had to clean off the roof so this is a bag of leaves oh that's some more cool seal my washing brush my other washing brush see that's what happens when you don't when you just throw it out of the truck don't put it where it belongs now I gotta pick it up again this bag this bag is leaves I did a job. I cleaned out somebody's gutters. That's not good. Cleaned out somebody's gutters. A little bit of trash down here, but most of this is leaves. So that was a gutter job. And I charged them for both sides. Cleaned out and blown friend of mine friend of mine so $75 it was a lady and I clean out her gutters every year I don't try to charge her a whole bunch
anything under three foot with just pure steel no other items rotors leaf springs heavy steel quarter inch thick rebar rebar take that piece of rope off of it because you got to be prepared anything like that this that even that oh, yeah it's a heavy piece that's all prepared steel it's under three foot long and you will get paid more for it if you make yourself a pile of it like grandpa is right here um, now this does not belong here it actually got thrown out of my truck it goes over in another pile just found out that these are steel <laughs> maybe a cheap grade stainless not sure but uh this would be dirty cast aluminum i picked this up i picked this up i think in uh, one of my last scrap videos uh and i just feel like it's in too good a condition um somebody apparently wanted a new one but this one's not wrong with it too good a condition for me to throw it away I haven't found out what vehicle it belongs on yet, but when I do, I will at least try to sell that for, put it on for a week. Cast, this is cast aluminum. Where do I have my cast? Actually, I've actually got it a little bit mixed up right now. So I've got old sheet, dirty, clean, um, extrusion, cast. I might as well just throw it right there. And once I get a really big pile, I'll separate it into what it belongs. When you go to the scrap yard, bring your old sheet separately from your dirty cast or your clean cast or your extrusion, especially anything that's extrusion. Uh, you separate that stuff. Make sure there's no nuts and bolts on it because they don't want to. They don't want to have anything. There's also stuff called two percent. So this, see, they would consider this two percent because it has screws in it. As long as it doesn't have more than two percent garbage uh that's how they pay you unless i was to take them screws out i'm probably not going to do that i'm still working on this this is something somebody gave me check this out here stick with me a minute guys stick with me just for a minute check this out these apparently they had some vines growing on them and they had to pull off the vines but look at these things Let's see here i don't want to mess them up Kind of tossed them off there nice and easy so I wouldn't mess them up. Watch this. This. Why in the world do you think Grandpa would take anything like that and throw it away? Here we go. Yeah, look at that. I get you and your wife together. Look at that. And just keep going. How do you throw that away? Got a whole bunch of them, probably, probably 10 of them right there. One, two, three, four. There's probably 15 of them things, two foot long. That's 30 foot of them things. And I think it's cool. And I'm gonna put them together on my lawn over there and list them on Marketplace for a hundred bucks. And uh, I'm telling you, you'll be surprised. I think you'll be surprised. So hundred bucks, Marketplace. I let them talk me down, right? This is something I picked up the other day. And as I got to looking at it a little bit better, I realized, wow, that thing is actually solid brass. Solid brass. But it's dirty brass as long as it has the screen on the back of it. So I'm trying to figure out how do I turn this into, oh goodness gracious. Even the screen is brass. Oh yeah, even the screen is brass. So I wonder if they'd take call that dirty brass. I guess they would because of all that crap that's around the outside. Look at that, the screen is brass. That's incredible. I literally I don't have to do anything to this thing. Except for maybe take the steel rod out right here. Oh, that was a piece of brass. I could just by the weight. Take that. 
rod right there, Ralph. Oh, there it is. And I know this is a fairly good looking um, piece that maybe would be better as a resale item for some people. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to sell it as brass. So the screen is brass, it's all brass. I'm gonna try to sell it just like it is, just like that. With all the brass parts, and I guess, oh, here it is. So there, brass. I'm gonna try to sell it just like that. I wonder if they'll give me clean brass for it, if they're gonna call it dirty because of the glue, which is very minimal. I'm not sure what they stuck it with, but that's pretty good. Brass. I know some people will cringe when you take something like that apart. Um, and I thought about it for a week. I thought about it for a week. And finally, I said, you know what? That thing's got to go. All right, guys. What else do I really have? That motor's going to Allen, YouTube friend. I got them two ACs there and this one. Got some motors here that I need to do some chopping on. Get them ready to go in. I could actually make a um, a motor run today if I wanted to, just in the back of my truck. Something I'm thinking about because I do have one that I did yesterday. But uh, before I do that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take apart a couple of these AC units. So I'll see you guys in a few. Whew, I can't believe I cut that loose. That's in the motor been on that block for a long time now I got to get the rest of these tore apart because I would love to bring them things in 